Hey there, welcome back. So we've been talking about the law and how it impacts life insurance. And uh, again, shout out to my buddy Jason Elkins. Uh, I'm going to leave with my best, and I, I did that in the first episode. We talked about Internal Revenue Code 7702. It's a federal statute. It's what defines life insurance. It what it's what gives it the power that it has as a tax favored tool. Okay. So that's the first and foremost thing, and for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like very many people or companies are talking about it, so I thought it was time to talk about it. Uh, the second one was the state creditor protections. Typically, this uh, finds its way into bankruptcy court. There, there are some federal ones as well, but um, it seems like the state ones are the ones that are really discussed more, and like we talked about, not not every state's the same because, again, these are state laws, so it's not across the board federal stuff. So, um, as I mentioned, the redder the better uh, on those. Typically, there are some states that don't give much of any protection. There are some states that are somewhat unclear. I don't practice in any of those. Uh, mine, it's pretty clear. So, the third thing we talked about are the company types. We talked about uh, stock company, mutual company, fraternal company. They all have their place. Please understand that. They, they all have their place. Um, they have different features. Um, it helps to know the difference. It helps to not be in the dark is what the difference is. So beyond that, we talked about contractual guarantees. Uh, that was the fourth episode. Contractual guarantees are important. I mean, think about it. If you've got a situation to where you're in court and, you know, a judge is looking over a contract, I mean, the contract means what it says, right? And those contracts are generally worded pretty well. Um, I, you know, as an attorney, I've not really seen that much litigation when it comes to those. Typically, the, 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 the litigation when it comes to insurance often falls in other areas. So, the next one's company ratings. You know, ratings matter, um, but there are also some companies that maybe have lower ratings. Maybe they have lower ratings for a reason. They fill a very niche market, and that's okay. Um, but understand the difference. Larger companies are probably going to look at Comdex scores. Smaller companies are probably just going to look at the AM Best score. And there's some companies that don't have any scores at all. That's their choice. Uh, the next one was 7702A. So 7702A defines what's called a modified endowment contract or MEC, um, uh, like I mentioned before. Uh, one of the great voices in the industry constantly says, don't worry about the MEC. And I agree with that. Just understand the difference. Understand how it affects the client. Understand um, if you write it as a MEC as opposed to something with maybe, say, a premium deposit account or a, a 10 pay type policy or whatever. Just simply understand the difference. We talked about 7702B and how it affects long term care. And often 7702, 7702A, and 7702B can actually all kind of fall within the same long term care policy. And that's okay because. We're writing a, a policy of insurance, a policy of life insurance that has long-term care benefits on it. So the point is, if you don't use those benefits, then the, the premiums pass to uh, family and you've not lost anything. Now, if you buy more contractual benefits, we talked about this, if you buy more contractual benefits, less goes to family, and that's okay because you're buying more benefits. I understand there's a trade-off. So, this simply recaps uh, what we've talked about, if there's anything else that you want to talk about, anything else that you want me to cover, uh, I'm happy to do so. Um, for any agents, wealth managers, um, attorneys out there that want to share this, um, I'm happy to. Uh, if you think I've missed the boat on any of this, feel free to let me know. Um, I have no problem reshooting a video, shooting a new video, whatever I need to do. But more importantly, I'm thankful that you've held in with me this entire time. Thanks for watching.